Okay, so it is the next day and we're gonna tackle lipsticks. I'm gonna take these out because they're there's organizers underneath and I'm gonna declutter. Okay. Where do I even start? Let's just start with this one. Got so many red lipsticks, I don't even wear red. So like is this really necessary? Like, no. I'll keep this one. Don't wear pink. But you know when you're like, just in case for that one look, I might need it. I'm gonna keep the black. This can go. Keep these Juvia's Place ones. This is so hard, guys. I'm gonna keep these. Keeping this. Keeping all of these Juvia's Place glosses. I actually really love these. I will probably get rid of this one because I don't need the Fenty and the Juvia's Place. So I'll keep the Fenty and get rid of the Juvia's Place. This liquid lipstick from Fenty, I'm going to keep. I think all of the other reds I'm going to get rid of because I just don't need... Okay, I'll keep that one. No. 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 I'll keep... I will keep, this is almost like a lip balm. So I'll keep this. This one can go, this can go. MAC, what is this, Ruby Woo? Devoted to Chili. Pat McGrath, ooh, that's a nice color. Mm, it's almost like a lip balm again. I'll keep that. That can go. All right, all of these reds, I never use so oh, this is so pretty this YSL one I just don't use it get rid of that I'm gonna keep this okay that's enough reds I'm gonna get rid of all the rest Charlotte Tilbury oh I'm gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury one <laughs> I'm a sucker for a dark burgundy this one can go and this one can go oh the bouton. I'm gonna get rid of it. Right, this Rihanna one I'm keeping because this is just like a limited edition collection thing. The Rihanna Mac collection, do you remember? All of these can go. That's almost like an orange. I don't have many oranges. I'm gonna keep that. This bright pink can go. I don't think I'm ever gonna use. <laughs> Will I? Oh, but that's so pretty. What if I'm doing a Barbie look? I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> These can go. Colourpop Hello Kitty things. I really love them, but I'm gonna let them go. Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kisses are staying. Some of my favourite lip products. So comfortable. That can go. Fenty Slip Shines. I love this, but I only really like one or two shades, which I think are over there. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. I love these Bobbi Brown lip oils, but I think they can go i'm gonna keep this one and then the pinky ones can go i don't really wear pinky lips so they can go right i just got these kvd um epic kiss lipsticks the other day i'm gonna keep the blue one because i don't have a blue lipstick so just in case for any looks i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep the purple i'm trying not to keep so many nudes because i feel like i always have nude lipsticks dark brown and a nude the pinky red ones can go is this gray okay i'm gonna keep the gray as well because i don't have a gray lipstick so but pink and red and stuff can go because i already have these mm, these can these can go this can go this is staying this can go this can stay <laughs> Oh, that's a nice purple. Let me compare it to the KVD one. Oh, this one's more pinky. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Does Colourpop still do their black collection? Maybe I should let it go. Yeah, it's going to go. Anything limited edition, there's no point me keeping it because it can get, you know, stopped at any time. This one can go. Mm, Bricolola, that can go. This red can go. Right, Fenty black lipstick I'm keeping. 
this purple from um, Wet n Wild can go. This purple from MAC. Um, which one should I keep? Which one should I keep? I'm gonna keep this one and then this matte one can go. Oma Beauty, I love their lipsticks. I'm not gonna keep any. Mm. I always do that. I throw away all the pinky colors and then when I do a pinky look, I have nothing to wear. So I'm gonna keep this. I love Oma Beauty lipstick formula. So creamy. Okay, this dark one can go. I feel like I have enough dark lipsticks. I love the Juvia's Place lipsticks as well. I think Juvia's Place and Oma Beauty are some of my favorite lipstick formulas. They're literally the same thing. I'm gonna keep this one and this one can go. I think I'm keeping way too much dark. This one can stay. This one can go. Oh, I really like that color. I just don't wear reds. No, that one can go. That one can go. Yeah, this one can go. This one can go. Right, I love this Morphe liquid lipstick, but I'm gonna keep the Fenty and also the Fenty lipstick. And then these two can go. Not doing too bad, guys. Okay, black lipstick from Morphe, this can go. Well, that's pretty. I don't have any Pat McGrath lipsticks. So I'm gonna keep this one. Fenty liquid lipsticks are staying. This can go, this can go. Mac Tiana Taylor, this was limited edition, but I really like the packaging, so I'm gonna keep this. This sleek one can go, and this Kevin Aquan one can go. These Revolution ones can go. This NYX lipstick, I really like, I'm gonna keep. This Juvia's can go. I'm not gonna wear that. Oh, love this Natasha Denona lipstick color. I don't have an orangey lipstick like that, so I think I'm gonna keep that. Right, so the mascara can go. This one can go. Ooh, this one can go. Yep. Love this Fenty lipstick, that's staying. So, right, yeah, this can go, these can go, these Kylie ones I will pick, these literally look like the same shade, they're just me, um, let's go for the middle one. I don't even wear liquid lipsticks that much to have this much liquid lipsticks, these NYX ones I really like the formula of I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these. This hourglass one, I'm gonna keep both. I just got these, I haven't even tried them. I like this NARS liquid lipstick, gonna keep. I would rather keep that than a red lipstick. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the red lipstick and keep the liquid lipstick. Even though I love this color, I feel like this is very old. So I'm gonna get rid of these Lime Crime ones. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. love these Revlon satin ink the formula it looks glossy on the lips but it's actually a transfer proof liquid lipstick it's so good I'll keep this one these two can go this can go this can go this can go um, oh the color looks nice keeping that if I haven't used you recently yep all of these are going right I'm gonna wipe this out and refill it back so that is it guys we've got it down to just this for now you guys saw how it was before overflowing so i'm really really proud of that now i'm going to move on to that section over there i always end up keeping loads of these like glittery glosses because i love how they look in the tube but i really rarely ever use them so i'm gonna try and not keep so many i'm gonna keep this one though because god damn how beautiful is that 
I'm gonna try keep a range of colors. So this is like a white silver one from Kylie. I don't have one like that, so I'm gonna keep that. The Fenty one is like a reflect blue, so I'm gonna keep that. This Laura Mercier one is like a pinky tone, so I'm trying to keep different colors. Oh, this one's like a gold. Okay, I'm gonna keep the Kylie pink. They're different though. One's like a pink gold and one's like a pink cool tone. I'm gonna end up keeping them all. Like, how can you say no to this? Oh, they're just so pretty. I think this one can go because this one's more metallic than glittery and I don't really like metallic. Oh, this sugar pill one is like a purple blue. Like, look at that. You never know when I might need that. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna keep that. Oh no, guys, I'm like keeping them all. This Fenty orange one keeping right so this is a plumping gloss i don't really like plumping glosses so this can go oh, fenty hot chocolate that's staying anything fenty staying basically sorry <laughs> right this abh one can go oh it's so pretty oh no that has to stay that has to stay okay so basically all of the metallic glosses are staying right we're not having a discussion about this it is what it is these two can go. This is my favorite clear gloss ever, staying. The matte clear gloss can go. This is a little bit darker than I would wear, so that can go. Okay, now I'm gonna be very, very cutthroat. Now that we're through all the pretty glittery glosses, very cutthroat, let's go. These Revolution glosses, I just don't use anymore. I don't even know if they sell them anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of, yeah, all of them. This NARS one can go. This Morphe gloss looks stunning. Now this can go. This sleek lipstick is staying. That is such a gorgeous, unique undertone. It's almost like cool tone. I don't have many like that. Oh, <laughs> this is hard. It can stay. This Jordana Tisha, beautiful nude staying. Uh, these NYX butter glosses are staying. I'll keep this one and the pinky one. Um, the dark one can go. And then I'll keep these. These lip oils from Sigma are beautiful. I'm just gonna keep one and then these two can go. Right, wet cherry glosses from Lime Crime, I love. I'm gonna keep this one. That's basically finished, like it's literally empty. I don't love any of them, but I feel like I might need to keep like one or two pinky glosses just in case. I'm gonna keep this lighter one and then these can go. Right, keeping this one, these three can go. Keeping this one, these two can go. Mm, these can go. Oh, I love this Barry M lip oil. This is staying, but these can go. This NYX butter gloss is staying, but these can go. Go, go, go. Right, I'm doing really well, if I say so myself. <laughs> My battery is gonna die soon. Let me just run through these quickly. I have so many Charlotte Tilbury nudes that I love, so I'd rather just get rid of the ones that I'm not in love with, even though the packaging is out of this world. And the reason I'm so happy to get rid of so many of these lipsticks is because I have all of my like go-to nude lipsticks over there. So it's like, I might as well just empty these all out and fill these drawers with my go-to lipsticks over there. So yeah, um, Huda Beauty, right. Once again, I have my go-to Huda Beauty lipsticks over there, which we'll go through after. So I, I feel like I'm gonna get rid of all of these ones in here because I just don't reach for these. Velvet Teddy, Spirit, I'll keep these. This Kylie gloss is gonna stay. I haven't even tried this Inglot Mora. I think this is a gloss as well. Yeah, I haven't even tried this. This looks beautiful. This can go, this can stay. This Juvia's Place lipstick is beautiful. Yeah, this is staying. This lipstick can go. If I haven't used it in a while, it can go, right? Charlotte Tilbury can go, such pretty packaging. Juvia's Place lipsticks, one of my favorites staying. <sighs> can go. Can go. Can go. Oh, I like 
this lipstick. They don't do those anymore. Revolution don't sell those lipsticks anymore. I think they moved on to these ones. That's such a pretty colour. Oh, gorgeous. This one's such a unique colour. I don't have a nude like this. This is really proper, like, concealer shade. So I'm going to keep this. It's interesting. That's too pinky. Louise lipstick, no, no, right, oh yeah, we're keeping these two, even though I rarely wear red. My camera is showing as battery exhausted, so I'm sure it's going to shut down soon, but we're nearly done here. Anyway, I'm just going to finish this up, repack it, put it back in the drawer, and then I can show you guys how we're looking. Okay, so this is how the drawer is looking. It's still a lot of lipsticks, but understand that I do makeup as a job, and obviously I film every day, and I need to do different looks and all of that stuff. So basically how I've laid it out is nude lip glosses, uh, pinky nude lipsticks, nude lipsticks these two then over here we have liquid lipsticks shimmery glosses which you guys can see i've kept quite a lot of um then we've got dark brown lipsticks lip glosses whatever red and then miscellaneous so i put the kind of crazy colors black blue gray all of those type of colors up here then down here i've got like pinky products so pinky um liquid lipsticks pink glosses just pink products so yeah that is my lip drawer now guys um it's a lot but it's necessary for me to use different stuff every day so yeah moving on <laughs> 